So for anyone wondering what mouthwashing is, you are not alone because I was in that same boat about 10 minutes ago until I saw the screenshots and I saw the trailer and I told myself, I have to play this right now immediately. So the five crew members of the Tolpar are stranded in the empty reaches of space, shrouded in perpetual sunset. God is not watching. And after reading that, and after seeing the 11,000 or over 11,000 reviews with an average rating of overwhelmingly positive, I don't know how I couldn't play this game. So let's get into it. Welcome everybody to mouthwashing. I am so excited to play through this. So I'm just, I'm sitting here in the main menu trying to find the best way to start this game because I don't know what we're about to get into. It is already starting off creepy and disturbing and we're only at the title screen. We are at the main menu and this is the first thing the game shows you. So, all right, let's go. We're going to do a brand new game. Let's go. Pony Express Long Haul Space Freighter. Tolpar. Crew, five of us. Planned shipment duration, 382 days. Elapsed transit time, 147. I hope this hurts. What in the world does that mean? That already worries me. And for those of you that don't realize, I do not like horror games. They freak me out. They are not my best friend. I am a little whiny baby when it comes to horror games. An orbital body has been detected 21 AU ahead of the vessel. Please make a manual correction 1.4 degrees leftwards to avoid impact with unknown mass. Oh, so we're just getting straight into this. What do we got here? Is this the nuke button? It's locked. Okay, I don't think I can... Wait, didn't it say... Left? It said merge left. Why is our only option to steer right? Is this game going to be complete chaos? Is this going to be a game where our character does the complete opposite of what we're supposed to do? Oh, there's got to be a way. Is there a way to choose left? There is literally nothing else I can click on. But what if I, what if I select leave? That doesn't literally do anything. Okay, I guess we're steering right. Extreme warning. Not just our normal warning. Direct collision course with orbital body 1.9 AU away. Engaging autopilot to recorrect vessel. Advise crew to take up emergency positions. 4,000 credits docked from crew pay package for failure of navigational staff. So we just cost all these people money. Okay. We are not starting off strong. Okay, so there's the key probably to that. Wait, what is this? Danger, Pony Express Protection Kit. Use only in case of emergency. Captain access only. Code scanner required. I mean, this seems like a pretty big emergency. Can I click anything else? A length of nylon rope. Wait, no, no, no. What's up here? Can I click anything else? Yes, take the emergency key. Back away. I can't let anyone in. What? Why could we not let anyone in? Wait, we have the key. Ah, oh, there we go. Do we really need to press that button? Do we really need to press it? Disengage autopilot. Why? It wasn't my fault. Oh, now the store is opened. What? 
Rise and Shine. Oh man, this is going to be a game where I am forced to do everything incorrectly, isn't it? Okay, so I was kind of actually worried about the kind of art style this game was going to be. But it actually, I actually kind of dig it. What are we playing? Wait, am I going in circles? Oh no. Is this going to be like a true horror game? Don't do this to me, please. Wait. I can't click on it. Uh, do we have to go back? What did I get myself into? <gasps> happening what is happening oh my who is this guy why is he all over this ship I'm going to turn around and there's going to be something right behind me, isn't there? Look how horrifying that is. Look at how horrifyingly creepy that is. Yo, I am already stressing out. Where's the crew? Where is the rest of the crew? I don't even want to sprint. Oh, this is not good. What is happening? It's like every, every hallway, there's more posters. Can I unlock this, please? Why on earth did that scare me so much? Okay, <laughs> Jimmy, any, anyone else would do the same. Swansea, we ain't touching the damn cargo. The hold is locked down for a reason. The only thing worse than dying slowly is not getting paid. Anya, but it could be something useful, I think. Could be what? Hopes, dreams, and marzipan. You don't have to. If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Oh, hello. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. How exactly is this group therapy committee planning on getting it there? Getting in there. Oh, right here, boss. You're looking at the meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up nearly corked a kid once. I can take the utility axe. You were goddamn born fully corked. This guy is an angry individual. That's enough, Swansea. There has to be a in case of emergency way inside. If I remember correctly from the safety protocols, the door should have an alternative access code. 
an alternate access code, but it can only be uncovered using a code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. Of course, go ahead and ask him all about it then. Maybe he'll sing ya the blues too. We don't need him if we find the scanner, get the code, and open the hold. For better or worse, I'm captain now. Look at me. I am the captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on. This thing needs to go. Okay, acquire code scanner. Acquire the code scanner. What is going on in here? Don't be daft. Giddy up galaxy. Punctual delivery is our pride and promise, no matter where you are. Late deliveries will be docked from personal credits. That's kind of messed up. Never thought I'd be thankful for Pony Express grub. This machine was empty even before the crash. Swansea saw to that. Great, so this is after. Looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. You want a rock, paper, scissors for the chicken noodle? How much food do we have left? I'd say like four months-ish. Okay, that's not too bad. Hmm, less than the remaining air supply, but we can make it last. In theory. We'll be starting to poke new holes in our belts pretty soon to pull that off. Man. My mom will straight up stuff me when I get back. I'll look like Swansea. We'll have a rad story to tell, though. They might even write articles about us. We could be on TV. Uh, it'll impress the ladies, too. Hell yeah. The real problem is us running out of toilet paper. Fatal stuff, man. That would be very, very fatal. We should leave that part out for the press. Has Swansea been like this towards you your whole internship? That's just how he is, man. Didn't want a spud like me following him around for an entire year. This isn't really the internship experience anyone had in mind. Don't let him push you around too much. His bark is worse than his bite. He may be cranky, but he is legit a wizard of a mechanic. I was like, you rock. So this is what years and years and years and years of experience look like. I'm sure he appreciated that. Okay, is that all that you have for us? Is there anything else? Did you find the scanner thing yet? I'd ask Anya about it. She's been reading the safety manual like a Bible since the crash. Okay, so that's it. Got it. Thank you. I appreciate the info. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this room. So creepy, man. They actually sell plushies of this guy for kids. <laughs> he even knows that it's creepy. So that's just the menu. Anything else? Okay, that's locked. Okay. Can we get out of this room, please? Okay, where is Anya? Medical? This guy does not look alive. Why can I open his mouth? Her mouth, whoever this person is. These are all we have left. Should I take the painkillers? I'm going to take them just in case. This Vin has been busted forever, at least according to Swansea. Probably beyond wrecked now. Okay, we took all those. He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkillers? He, it just hurts him so much. I can't stand the noise. You didn't make it through nursing school, right? Hopefully she says yes. Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. 
Also, why does she kind of look like the mom from The Shining? Um, I was thinking, we never went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It's almost entirely foamed up. Wait, so is that who did this? Kind of a miracle, Curly didn't end up fossilized. But it could still be unstop unstable. I just think, well, it's the only place the code scanner could still be. Otherwise, we're shit out of luck. I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. Thank you. Oh, also, well, um, I was hoping you could help me with Captain. Curly? Right, sorry. W with Curly's medication. People have to be worth their titles. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? Y yeah, forgot I, forget I ask. I'll take care of it. Okay, is there anything else? Are, are you going to feed Curly his meds? He really suffers without them. Yeah, yeah. His bandages were also looking wet. I know. We're out of fresh ones. We are literally out of all this stuff already? Okay, so that's all she's got. Like, should we just keep feeding this guy meds? God, that's so horrible. Hold still, yeah? I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still alive. I, I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, sorry. Are you still alive? Is that all that we had to do? Okay, so we gave him all 10 of those? You probably shouldn't give him that many. We don't have a lot of, a whole lot of painkillers left but you still want to keep... Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? What answer would you make, or what answer would make you feel any better? I have to believe that our worst moments don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to, even in his case. He tried to take us all down with him, Anya. The way I see it, there's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. Guess the important bit is that we all agreed to it, for one reason or another. I'm still feeling nauseous. I need a minute. Okay, can I talk? Can you talk at all? Okay, no. We still gotta find the scanner. Okay, so we think it's in the cockpit. Which I take it, it's gotta be this way, right? So how big is this ship? Wasn't she... Wasn't she just upstairs? Thank you for helping with Curly. Did you find the code scanner? I hope it's still there. The cockpit is covered in foam. If she's up here... You were just up. Okay. I don't understand. Entry is strictly prohibited to unauthorized personnel. Captain has been equipped with the standard issue code scanner to unlock the door in case of emergency. Damage sustained to cargo will be deducted from crew pay. 
unnecessary trespass and to hold will be deducted from crew pay. Accidental door breach will be deducted from crew pay and loss of code scanner will be deducted from crew pay. Okay, where's that scanner at? But why? Okay. Why is this literally everywhere? Okay, where does this go? I don't know. I don't have a clue where that goes. I don't think we have a map or anything. Okay, so the cop pit is this way. What do you got for us? Ain't you supposed to be figuring out our great cargo robbery? Why are you standing out here? None of your goddamn business. Everything is my business now because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. Right, right. Capitano. I'm working. Blue collar fools can't afford to stop working even when the machine does. Go figure. And before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry. I ain't going over my break time allowance. Ha! Working on what? How does it look in there? It's a solid wall of foam. I'm trying to see if I can break it down enough to get something useful out. Any of my tools. But if I breach that foam and break the air seals, it's lights out for all of us. Yeah, let's not do that, please. I ain't letting anyone else around. Or I I ain't letting anyone else mess around in there. Even Dasuk, he's your intern. He's supposed to be helpful. You think I'm letting that knucklehead in here after the crash roughed it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when the vent hatch was open during maintenance. And that was before the crash. I warned her, but it's in one ear and out the other. Then there's the teeny bopper thinking only his downstairs long nose. What? Then there's that teeny bopper thinking only with his downstairs. Why did that? Why did that not? <laughs> Just like my useless kids back home. <laughs> why did that take me so long to get? So no, ain't letting anyone mess around in here. All right, Swansea, keep me updated. Is there anything else that I can get from you? Still on my break. Bad back and all, yeah? Don't need no supervision, Captain. Okay, so you're kind of a little dickhead, huh? Pony Express. Okay, so here's the cockpit. I mean, what was this guy's purpose for literally doing the complete opposite of... What in the world? Take scanner. Okay, nice. Is there anything else in here that we can take? Okay, it seems like there's other stuff in here missing. Okay. But we'll at least have the scanner now. We at least have the scanner. Swansea hasn't let anyone in the utility since the crash. Says it's filled with foam. Okay, the lounge. We got the scanner. Are we doing the right thing? Let it be medicine, food, or water. Okay. We got the scanner. What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swansea can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swansea? Quit yapping. Okay. That's not very... That's not very nice. Okay, that's not it. How am I supposed to know what the scanner is? Used to reveal access codes across the toll par. Okay, wait, hold up. Captain only. Used to reveal... How do I use this? Ah, okay, there we go. Um, it doesn't really look like it. Oh, wait. 4517. Got it. 4517. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, there we go.
I totally felt my game crashed. Seven days before crash. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. Damn. I'm so sorry. Couldn't sleep again. Oh, we're playing as Curly again, but I passed the psych eval. Well, you gave the same answers as last time. I do wish you'd open up a little more, Captain. These evaluations aren't just about you. As long as I'm fit to fly in your eyes, Anya. Oh, stop it. Guess that means I only have one more eval left to do. Jimmy? He acts as if I do these things for fun. Then I have to make a report with things like, I have found myself sexually excited at the sight of cartoon horses. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ha, well I could take it off your hands. Really? I've known him a long time. You won't try any bullshit with me. I suppose you are the captain. I am the captain. Thank you, what a relief. Oh, before I forget, Swansea asked me to give you this. They can't expect me to perform miracles. Not sure what it means, but sounds like fun. Good luck, Captain. Why does that sound like fun? Talk to Jimmy and Swansea. Okay, are you good? The Sook described his experience as intern so far as awesome, super cool, and like totally awesome. Like really awesome. Should I be worried? Why would you be worried? Why would you be worried about that? He's just like, he's, he's just a kid. I've been bringing the same playlist along for years. When it's right, it's right. Can I play anything? Okay. Um. Ticket, we just go. Talk to Jimmy and Swansea. Note from Swansea. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Can't go that way. Anybody in here? Oh yeah, this way. Wait. Oh wait, is this Jimmy? And Pony Express said they don't provide onboard entertainment. Feels like there's always something broken in that room. Tolpar's starting to show her age. Past inspection, right? Shouldn't be an issue. Hmm. Plus they added the souk last time. The Suki? The Suk? They didn't account that there'd be five of us now. I really should have made a bigger stink about that. Wait, was I supposed to get anything else from you? Maybe you should intervene. Or we could just close the door. Your call. Okay, so that's it with him. What is happening in here? Well, I can see the issue. The kid was brought on just to make me suffer and turn my ass. I was just trying to fix the vent. How did that trigger the emergency foam? Because you're talented in all the wrong ways. I would have dealt with this, but only you can unlock the axe case. Every goddamn thing has to go through you. I'll handle it. Hang in there. Um, do not touch. Nice. All right. Oh, wait. So we need need the scanner. 2609. Got it. Why is it like, I mean, I guess so people don't go ballistic, but the captain went ballistic also. Why can I not click? Two, six, oh, nine. There we go. Take the axe. Use axe. There you go. Back in my day, we didn't have to go through a dog and pony show for every little thing. Might as well put our cut our cutlery behind a lock. I think I got it. Yarg. Hang in there, yeah? Wait, so how? Use axe. Don't cut his leg off. There we go.
Youch. Oof, strong stuff, huh? Get it through your goddamn skull. That vent is strictly off limits. Fully fudging collapsed inside. You look, you looking to get impaled, electrocuted, and cooked? Yeah, but like, you can't fit in there to fix it, right? <laughs> so I can totally handle it, Captain. Give me the axe. Oh, let's not do that, Swansea. This could have damaged the pods. You can't let something like this happen again. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Loud and clear. Keep the axe until you've cleaned this all up, yeah? Can we trust this? It's okay to be big boss. My gramps was super huge. And he lived until like 60. That's not that old. What are you standing around for? Clean this mess up. Okay, should we talk to Jimmy again? I take it Anya diagnosed you with being sane then. Just off center, but it's what keeps me on my toes. I said I'd do yours. I want to hear all about those cartoon horses. Is that something you were born with or a recent develop? <laughs> all right, all right, shut up. <laughs> Let's go to the cockpit. Okay, and the cockpit should just be right up here. Yep. Yo, this is so intriguing so far. By the way, if you guys have any other games like mouthwashing that you want me to play, please leave it in the comments below. I always have a hard time finding games like this that I enjoy because Steam in the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Store, they, there's just thousands of games now that get added that. It's hard to tell if they're good or not, to be honest. Okay, here we go. So, are you actually... Let's... Hopefully that he takes this serious. This was not like this before. Why is this hallway never ending? It was definitely... What the hell? I don't know what to do. Oh, it's like we're on a planet right now. Yo, this is absolutely beautiful. Where are we? Emergency. What is happening? Is he just like going crazy? Is he experiencing trauma? Did something latch on to him? Critical systems failure. That's the sun. My goodness. I feel like I actually just stared at the sun. Yo, it's crazy to me how bright they can get these screens. Dude, and my eyes are so sensitive. This is actually so weird. What in the world? You can't just make something up for this. It's not like these evals ever go anywhere when we get back we'll power through it wait so he like didn't even did he actually experience going through this and he himself didn't say anything about it to anybody 
Have you been able to complete your mandated task as co-pilot efficiently and to your fullest capacity? Ugh, let's see. I'll just put good for that one. That's all of them. Done and done. How are things otherwise? Off the record. I like it. We're in control here. They didn't think you'd ever take to being a freighter, a, a freighter pilot as well as you have. What with how you struggled back on Earth? Sure. All I ever hear is how great of a leader you are. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. So what is it? Hmm? How come it always seems like you're standing on the edge of a bridge with your feet in cement? Lately, I've just been thinking, is this enough? Should I just stay here because I've been successful at it? A good long haul freighter pilot? And that's bad? That's what I'm saying. It's not, but it's terrifying. I think, am I figured out? Is this all I'll, I'll ever be? That kind of hits home a little bit. Or do I take the risk and try something new? Even if I'm bad at it. So can I say something really quick? Man, I've never actually had a quest like a game as the main character ask himself this question, and then it makes me also contemplate that question. So this is actually honestly why I started YouTube, because I wanted to try something like YouTube, even if I'm bad at it. That's okay. But do I always want to be this person at my current job for the rest of my life? And even if I even if I go somewhere else to do the same job. Like, is that all I want to be in my life? When I get to the end of my life, is that what I want? And that thought concept actually made me jump into YouTube almost two years ago. And now here we are. Hmm. I guess I get it. You reached the highest rung on this ladder. So now you're thinking you might be on the wrong ladder altogether. Man, that hits so deep. Still a long way down from the top, no matter how you look at it. Well, I'm still climbing and climbing, something like that. But hey, 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 you know, I believe in you here on Earth. Doesn't matter. Ha, you should write that on the psych eval. Oh, no, the big guys themselves. Guess that's my cue. I'll see you later. Uh, where did that come from? Where's that message? Take news from corporate. After all the... Wait, don't... Don't tell us we don't get to read that. Yeah, this is so creepy, man. What in the world? Is that a black hole? Here, in fact, 
fact, is the answer to a dream as old as man himself. A giant of limitless power at man's command. And where was it science found that giant? In the atom. A particle so infinitely small that it takes over a hundred billion billion atoms to make up the head of a pin. Just as other millions and quadrillions of atoms are the tiny building blocks which make up everything in the world. Ships and shoes and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. Although no one has ever seen here, in fact, is the answer to it. What in the world? What is that sound? Missing something from here? What in the world? Dragon Breath presents. A revolutionary new dental hygiene product. Brand new formula designed to kill bacteria and kill germs without leaving a bad taste. Dragon Breath Mouthwash. All day fire fresh. Two months after the crash. Jimmy, it's... This is... Mouthwash? Un fucking believable. There's got to be an ocean of this stuff in here. This room looks freaking endless. This is what they'd have five people hauling for over a year. All of this for mouthwash. The sugar content probably offsets any potential as a disinfectant. Disinfectant. What are you? Let me see that. 14% ethanol. Ha! Ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha. Huh? <laughs> I suppose we'll smell good at least. That's right, kiddo. You can bet your ass on that. What what are you doing? Stop that. <laughs> oh shut up. I'm just an old codger taking care of his dental hygiene. You hear that? That's the sound of 15 years of sobriety popping like a cyst. A glorious, magnificent, red hot cyst. Good riddance and cheers. To Captain Curly, here, here. Guess anyone can get seriously blasted off of this stuff. Yeah, and kill you in the process. This can't be real. I'm with her. I, there's no way. Now we can go out in style. Come here. Anyone ever teach you how to drink like a man? So we're all going to get just completely smashed. Okay, six days before the crash. Break the news. So it, it didn't let us read the letter. Surprise! Surprise! Look at your face. Hee <laughs> gotcha. Cheers. Uh, wow. What's the uh, occasion? We only get one communal birthday party per trip, right? So we can have it whenever. Only one person can really be surprised birthdayed per trip. We did Swansea last haul, remember? No way. I can't believe I missed that. You were next on the list, so congratulations. Hate to say it though, your duties have to extend to even your own birthday party. You're the only one with clearance to make the cake. 
The recipe is there by the machine. Hop to it, Captain. Okay, so bake a cake. That's probably over here, right? Recipes, cake. Uh, water, gelatin, sweetener, tonic. All right, 3142. Wait. And that just gives us what we need? That's actually kind of crazy. Cake. Gelatin sweetener. Cake recipe. Here we go. Mix water, gelatin. Okay, so gelatin is 4213. Did I already do that one? 4213. Powder, got it. Mix cake base and sweetener. Where's the... Mix water and gelatin. Okay, we got the, now for the sweetener. Cake base plus sweetener. Oh my God, I need, I really need the scanner for this. I need the two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, got it. Two, three, four, one. Take sweetener. Ba, 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 ba. Use sweetener. I can't use this here. Why couldn't I? Cake base plus sweetener. Can I not do it there? Oh wait, there it goes. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That cake actually looks pretty delicious. You gotta make a speech. Can't argue with that. Speech, speech, speech. Go on. I, hey, what's wrong? That's all it said on the report for management. Wait, so why couldn't we see it? We will receive the paycheck for this delivery. I don't know any more than that. Pony Express finally kicking the bucket, huh? What a joke. And we're the punchline. I don't have any savings. They they can't just do this, right? Pony Express was one of the last manned crew freighter, freighters companies. The writing's been on the wall for a long time. When did they tell you? Earlier this week. I was instructed to wait until we're closer to the hall destination. But I can't keep something like this from you all. So, I guess you got what you wanted. Without the guilt. Jim. If I had known. I can go back to my, how'd you put it? struggle of a life Anya never got into medical school because she's well let's be real and how many employee employment years Swansea's got left in him so he will be fine mommy and daddy have him covered so there's that at least but you headed for bigger and better right I'm just I'm just working on my life being a place I don't have to fudging escape that's what I was trying to tell you nothing more we did say off the record, by the way. We're the ones you're trying to escape. Leave the dirt behind now. That your boots are clean. That's not what I meant. It is what you meant. You just couldn't frame it to yourself a way that kept you as the hero. Abandon the crew, but remain the model captain. 
Unbelievable. What? What am I supposed to do? Speechless. Let's have some fudging cake, hmm? Props to the Twilight Cruise of the t of the Tulper. Props to our captain and his new prospects. What do I what do I do? Everyone's quiet. And I can't get up. Uh, what are we supposed to do here? There we go. Oh my god, I saw it with the keyboard. Why? Who cuts a cake like this? Every time the game does this, I for a split second think the game is crashing. Three months after the crash. <sighs> Check on Curly. Is he in the cockpit? Is that where Curly is? Oh wait, no, is he in the medical? Hold up. Never mind, sorry, this is three months after. I don't know if he's been given his medicine yet. I don't okay. Uh so grab the medicine. Once these are out, we'll have nothing to keep him quiet. So uh, we're probably killing him, aren't we? How do I give him his medicine? Oh, wait, hold on. But it, it's not letting me do anything with it. Find Anya, it says. Oh, she's probably in here, isn't she? Yep. No, I understand completely. If that's how it has to be. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Jimmy, not able to sleep either? It's nighttime. Why are you talking this late? Anya, are you crying? No, don't worry. I'm okay. We all need to keep it together. Oh, I'm keeping it together. Don't you worry, Captain. He's making noises again. Did you give him his meds before, Anya? Ah, no. Must have slipped my mind. I'm sorry. I'll I'll do it. No, really. I'm perfectly okay. I said I'll do it. Okay. Back up to Curly. I guess it is good to make sure that we are not over giving him the painkillers, especially when there's only so many. Is that noise through the vents? Is that them talking? Or what is that? It's got to be them talking, right? All right, Curly. Come on, stop it with the noises, damn it. I know what everyone is thinking, the way they look at me. What could I even say? And then, what would she do? Damn it. Here we are now, me in the driver's seat. Thanks for that. Open up. I hope these make you feel fudging better. I mean, it literally sounds like we're killing him every single time. I'm just so curious as to why he would do it. <sighs> what do you know? 
Wait, we gave him the painkillers. Give Curly painkillers. What? We should have some. Why? It's mediocre at best, obviously. Sometimes you can only get the subpar stuff. That's what makes the really good stuff, well, good, right? Why bother? Hey, we all tried to escape. Didn't work for any of us. I've thought many times, is this what peace feels like? Are we, how are we hearing him, by the way? And is it good enough? If I'm being real, it certainly isn't the best. So all I can do is try and make my life one if I'm... So all I can do is try and make my life one. I'm not trying to run from all the time. Got it. Sometimes I'll be promoted. Buy a house. Fall in love. Why does it say sometimes I'll be promoted? Buy a house. Fall in love. But other times, I'll just have some awful fudging cake with my friend. Right now, that sounds pretty brilliant. Yeah? So if you'll do the honors. Right. Well, let me go find a knife. This place is just falling apart. And I cannot see literally anything. Is there a knife in here? Is there even a knife in here for us to use? This stuff is just, the foam is just taking over completely. Cannot see it all. Those flashing lights, they're not helping. Literally at all? Yo, this is... I can't see. Why would the knife be in the cockpit? Feast? It follows us. Look at the eyeball. What the hell is happening? Don't you dare. Do we have to use the axe? Okay, good. We are going crazy. Check on the crew. I mean, to be fair, wait, is it the mouthwash that is driving everybody crazy? Is that what this is? This just says check on the crew. Urgh. How many have you had? Those will kill you before before anything else. I know. My mom found this internship for me. Such a slacker, she said. I don't know. I just never knew what I wanted to be. Never was good at anything. Total screw up. We're not done yet, Dasuk. I just hope she doesn't blame herself. 
please, just take it. I don't want to look at this stuff anymore. I want to be alone if that's okay. Sorry. This is a, like, he's a good kid. He really is. Is there any, anybody else over here for us to... Okay, that's, that's one crew member. Uh, is there anybody in the lounge? Uh, before I go up there, let me check all this stuff first. Yeah, probably gonna be locked for a little bit. I don't think anybody would be in the cockpit because that's where we just were. But I guess just to be sure. Yep. Oh, man. Okay. Just want to be sure. I always want to check out that room just in case. Um. Okay. I guess we're going to go this way, huh? Just to see. What about in here? How are you doing today? It says we have to like force his mouth open for him to take medicine. Okay, the rest have to be in the lounge, right? Yeah, here we go. Wait, that thing's down. Anya. Ah! Oh, you startled me. Sorry. No, no worries. You thinking about drinking that too? Honestly? Yeah. It'd probably just make me feel better. Wouldn't fix anything. As much as I like it to. Right. Hey, I was thinking, did you know that not all of the medicine aboard was in my office? We store some in a storage locker in the hallway. Why haven't you brought this up earlier? It was foamed up. I didn't think it was possible to reach it. But I've been estimating the position of the foam. I think the medicine dep uh, depot locker isn't too far into the mass of it. So we could try to pry it down or break it down. One strike too many on a weak spot. We'll all get sucked into space. I think it's worth the risk. If nothing else, it's an excuse to get Swansea to hand over the axe. Okay, break into the foam. Give me that axe. He is definitely drunk on... <laughs> oh my god, he's got three bottles. <laughs> Four, five, six. Jimbo! El Capitano! The man with the plan! You done? I need that. This old thing? This was entrusted to me by our previous tragically inclined leader. Big responsibility. But you know all about that, huh? I'm gonna try and get some more painkillers. Do something useful, you know? Oh, I hear all about it. You're looking to pull the plug on this party early. I'm trying to save us. Take matters into your own hands, eh? Be my guest. That's how that happened. I think I already feel the ship Roma tumbling through space again. Ha, back to the future. Take axe. Okay, so where is this foam? What foam am I breaking? I mean, it's literally everywhere. See the foam by the hallway to medical? You can kind of see the locker in there. Okay, in the hallway on the way to medical. Uh, this right... Wait, this right here? Ah, this. Okay. I need an axe to clear this. I have the axe. But it, then it says I can't use it here. There we go. Open that up. Nice! Is that everything? Okay. 
We got the other medicine. Wait, where? Okay, Anya is starting to freak me out because she just like disappears places. Oh, wow, Jim, you did it. Yeah, it actually wasn't that hard once I figured it out. Amazing, really, sure. Um, I hate to ask you again, but could you give Curly his painkillers? It still just, just makes me so nauseous. You're literally, you're supposed to be the nurse. You're not serious. Look, I've entertained your sentimentality up until now, but I'm trying to actually fix things on you. What, what did that just say? I'm getting us through this. I, I, it's find the code scanner, then figure out the door code, get the ax, chop up the foam, but not too much. And best of all, give Curly his fudging medicine. But I'm bearing it. I have to. Because the captain has to take fudging responsibility of this GD ship. That just said responsibility, didn't it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Go. Make sure that Suki doesn't choke on his own vomit. No, no, no I can. I'll take care of it, Anya. I always do. There's something going on between Jim and this guy. Like, I just... It's like every time we give him the pain, it, the painkillers, it literally sounds like we are killing him. Oh, wait, there we go. I don't think I understood the pressure you were under before. Fudge, and you tried to tell me. Our worst moments don't make us monsters, huh? You are a good captain, Curly, and you'll be one again. I'll get us both through this. Feels so bad. Six hours until judgment. What does that mean? Jimmy, get the fudge out of here. Wait, I can't do anything. What am I? What? What, what am I supposed to do? Uh... Take metal pipe. You can't hide! What in the world are we supposed to be doing here? Where can we use the metal pipe? Oh wait, take rope. That was new. I'm gonna chop you into 20 fudging pieces. Um. What? Oh wait, what about this? Can't use any of this here. Okay. Two days before the crash. You doing okay? Yeah, can't sleep. I know how that is. I just toss and turn. Or stare at the ceiling all night. I actually kind of like the nighttime window screen. If you can believe it. So I just come look at it sometimes. If you look really, really close, you can see that there's a dead pixel in the upper right corner. That so? Hmm. Nope, don't see it. In the back of my mind, it's always there. Now, I'll go bonkers looking for it. Cheers. I don't think it ruins the illusion, though. It's peaceful. But maybe I'm just used to looking at the bigger picture. How many days of transport do we have left? Uh, let's see. Off the top of my head, around 237 days. I would go literally insane 
if I had that many days of just sitting in a ship. Just under eight months. Hey, why do you think Pony Express put a lock on the medical room door, but not in the sleeping quarters? Hmm. I suppose for the same reason they put a lock on the cockpit. But what did that safety? Five months after the crash. Jimmy, help. Jimmy, it's a total emergency. Calm down. What is it? Anya is stuck in medical. The door won't open. What if she runs out of something? Right. Let's go have a look. Okay, so she's stuck in medical. Oh, that's not good. Hey, heard the lock's broken. Hey, Anya, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Jimmy. The rest of our medicine stash is in there too. Damn, this could be bad. Did you try to really put your back into it? Any wrenches laying around? How heavy is the med kit? Anya, Jim, nothing, nothing. Anya, is the door stuck? She locked it. No. Huh? What do you mean? Look, we're all stressed, but you can't go breaking down at every little hardship. Open the damn door. You were right. You were right all along. I should have done this from the beginning. I always believe that our worst moments didn't define us. Didn't make us beyond repair. You think I wanted this either? Make no mistake. This isn't my worst moment. Far from it. It's the best decision I'll ever make. Open the door. I'll take care of it. Anya. What does that mean? Curly is still in there with her, right? Yeah. You don't think... You and Swansea know the internals of the ship better than anyone. There's absolutely no other way into medical. Uh, um, well... Swansea said it was strictly off limits, like super mega not allowed above all else. The utility room. That busted vent in there loops into medical. But I mean, technically a person could totally fit through it. If that's the only way, we'll make it work. You listening, Anya? Fine. Come on, Dasuk. Okay, go to utility. Is he coming with us? Is he not coming? Okay, he is. Oh, he's gonna... Sansi's gonna stop us from getting in there, isn't he? He is looking rough. Swansea, we need your help. I know you said utility was dangerous, but I... I'm good right here, fellas. You know I'm not letting you in there. All flimmets. Look, if there's any possibility, Jimbo, letting you scratch at that foam wall would be useless. You'd only tear this goddamn ship a new asshole. Nothing to be done about it. Bad luck. Tail missed the donkey. But Swansea, this could really be bad. Just hear us out. We're God's hand-picked favorites on this here planet, I reckon. Means we get to name it. So let's hear it for Waka or for Wake. I said Waka for Wake Rock. It is just so you guys know, it is midnight. I am so tired. <sighs> Whatever's going on anyway, anywhere else ain't my problem. Since I'm the happiest man Wake Rock has ever seen. Let's just go, Dastuk. There's no point with him. Eight hours until judgment. So, like, what does that even really mean? Don't do anything. Stop. 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 I can't fix... Or I can't fix this. Why do you keep fudging saying that? Are you hearing yourself? I'm sorry. Wait, what happened to him? We still have disaffected, right? The one from the extra medical stash? Get it. Now. The cocktail. We... You... The cocktail? 
What are you blabbering about? That was your fault. You would never have... I, I had no choice. You... Useless. You goddamn fudging idiot. There has to be something else. Find disinfectant. Um... Do we not have anything? We just have the code scanner right now? Okay, so I can go there. I just want to be sure there's nothing else over here. What is happening around here, man? Yeah, that's not creepy at all. All of our stuff is breaking. I'm getting freaked out here. Uh, what about... What the hell? What? Why is there a tombstone? Responsibility. It's like making me go this way. Wait, what? Oh, man. This is not going to be good. What was that? A blind beast, aimless and restless. You can't run from it. What the hell? Wait, what? That's where that's where it goes. Be quiet, it says. What? I, I take it it got us. So we have to go around? <sighs> Am I walking too much right now?
Okay, the blood goes this way. That was so close. This way? I went too fast. I went too fast. Oh, come on, man. Got to take this nice and easy. So intense. Okay, so this is going to get us through that. Stop. Okay. 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 We stopped. My goodness is it that way oh not this freaking thing mouthwash Ugh, I'm so Sorry, I mess up. Ugh. Don't try to talk. <sighs> Just gonna fix it. What did that just do? Five months after the crash. I think the vent and the utility connection or connects to medical, but you have, but you heard what he said going in there. Now it's too unstable. Trying to break the foam could risk the air seal. I just don't want to F this up again. Like I did before you heard Anya. I wouldn't put it past her to do something extreme right now. You and me, that's who we can save curly. Yeah. Swansea won't help. So we'll figure it out ourselves. R right. All right. Yeah. We got this, but even before the foam, how do we even get the door to utility open? Swansea has been practically camping in front of the door and he has the key. I have an idea. You're going to have to trust me. We need to knock him out. You're going to fight him. No, even he has to have his limits when it comes to booze. We make him pass out simple, safe. He might not even realize we did anything after the fact. There's a recipe for a mocktail in the kitchen. We can follow the steps, but use different ingredients to add a kick to it. Come on. Okay, so we got to knock this dude out. It was back this way, right? Okay, don't mind us. Cockpits that way. That's this way. Yeah, the lounge is this way. Okay, like this this ship is not that big to be on here for this long. It's it's really not. Uh here we go. Okay, so the cocktail. Knockout Swansea. Okay, so gelatin, water, tonic, sweetener, drink recipe to read. Uh, so prepare the drink with the culinary auto mixer, mouthwash, and 
Got it. So do we have mouthwash? Yeah, we have both of these things. Bada boom. I can't use that here. What? Why couldn't I? There we go. Use. Bada boom. Is that all we had to do? Wait, that's this plain cocktail. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then we need to mix drink base plus sweetener. So the sweetener again, that was two, three, four, one. Okay. I need to use, oh, I don't have the ax. How am I supposed to get this? We're out of sweetener. Any ideas? I uh, I might have accidentally at some point mistakenly misplaced a few packets before by accident. Right. You could take a look around my stuff. Could be somewhere around there, but also totally somewhere else. Who knows? Anything's possible. The crash sure jumbled everything up. Well, is your stuff around here? There is the sweetener. Okay, nice. Okay, so we have the sweetener. Now we just need the drink base plus the sweetener. Got it. I keep hitting escape. Sweetener. Plain cocktail. Bada boom. That should be it. That should be all that we need. Use spiked cocktail. There we go. All right, let's go, my friend. Me and him are the only rational ones at this point. Oh, man. Okay. And he should just be right around here. We're going to knock him out with this drink. And get in there. You take into teaching my intern now? I personally try to educate based off years of experience. But that's just me. Uh, hold up. No, how do I, how do I, how do I give him the drink? The fudge is that? Look, we need to keep working together. If this is how I can get us through this without us being at each other's throat or necks all the time, then yeah, yeah, give it here. We kind of freestyled the recipe. Yeah, I can tell you had a hand in this monstrosity, kid. You ain't no mixologist. Sure as hell ain't no mechanic either. <laughs> you never should come here. Who the fudge if it decides to let you board, huh? Stick the idiot with the bunch of sad sack adults and see what he learns, eh? Bootstraps and all that. What a load of horse shit. You think it's all going somewhere, but every failure you leaves you a little more mangled than before. Older, uglier, meaner. Smarter, in a worse way. Wallowing doesn't suit you, Swansea. Suppose you think we should all be acting like you, our hard-working, esteemed captain. I said take a load off before the sun, the sun finally sets on this party. May we never go to hell, but always be on our way. I kind of like that. This isn't suspicious to you at all, me, like, us two watching you. Yep, there he goes. Down goes Swansea. Take the utility key. Okay, don't freak out. He's fine. Is he still breathing? He practically bounced off the ground. He'll be fine. His tolerance has to be through the roof by now. Probably just wake up with a massive headache. Oh man, he's going to be so mad. So, got it. I'll never get a good reference now. Ugh. There we go. Captain, um, you sure about this? Maybe we could talk with Swansea when he's cleared up a bit later. He just, like, really into workplace safety and stuff sometimes, you know? Which is, like, totally cool and stuff, I think. He taught me. It's time to be brave, Dasuki. Dasuk, whatever your name is. Curly and Anya are counting on us. All right, here we go.
Wait. Whoa, it's like barely foamed up at all. Hey, it's those things. I've never been inside one. What are they called again? Uh, cryostasis pods. Oh, yeah. These things are far out. Totally sci-fi. Oh, it looks like this one still works. How long can these things even keep you frozen? 20 fudging years? I can't believe Swansea managed to clear all the foam from here. He didn't. W what? Think about it. Swansea never let you work with him on breaking the utility room foam wall, right? No, it needed to be handled delicately. He said I have way too much athletic strength in my arms. I would have just torn right through the foam. I was like, damn, makes total sense. Bummer. So I've been in charge of the kitchen instead. He said it's next level critical to keep stock and organize every day. Had me double, triple, four tuple, check everything like all the time. Right, of course. And he never told you he'd gotten in here? No. But look how busy he must have been. There was never any foam here. And Swansea has known the whole damn time. Just taking a load off before the sun finally sets on this party, huh? That boozed up bastard has been biding his time until he can save himself. Would getting in the pod really mean you'd get rescued? 20 years more of a chance to get found. I take those odds over our current situation. Not like this, though. Not by lying through my teeth while waiting for anyone else to die. No, man, that just can't be right. I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. We'll ask him about it when he wakes up. We'll deal with him after. Right now, we have a job to finish. And the vent looks like it's still in one piece. Whoa, check out those sparks. I hate to imagine how gnarly it looks on the inside. It could be somewhere somewhat collapsed in places. You can make it through. We need to try. Um, Swansea said it's not safe. I know he forgot to tell us about the pod, but he knows like everything about this kind of stuff. Maybe we should just wait for him to wake back up. You said you could handle it. Swansea taught you well, right? Time to prove it. He'll be impressed when he wakes up. He'll understand why we had to do this. Then he can explain himself. You think so? Dasuki, everyone's counting on you. Captain's orders. It, yeah, I got this. Okay, he, here we go. He's dead. My boy is dead. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. That can't be good. One day before the crash. Find the gun. Hold up a minute now. Why is there a gun here? That's all it says too is find the gun. But where would the gun be? It's gotta be in the cap. It's gotta be in the cockpit, right? gotta be yeah I don't I don't see it being in there like it would only make sense for it to be in the cockpit somewhere oh man what is happening it's for fun Jizz sake, where is it? Us being let go isn't a reason to hurt yourself. Anya, as our nurse, you never got psych evals. I should have thought of that. You could have come to me if you were feeling stressed. What would you have done? Anything. Anything. You, the crew, are all my responsibility. 
I told you so, over and over, yeah? I'm not gonna hurt myself. You know the gun is in a safety case I can't open. But I hid the case itself. Tell me where it is. None of this has to be on a performance log. We'll figure it out together. I'm pregnant. Ooh! You're what? Who would you- Captain. I told you. Listen to me. We can fix this. I've known him for a long time. I'll talk to him. I know you'd never give me the gun to protect myself, so the least I can do is make sure he never gets it either. A reading printed from the navigation computer detected abnormal asteroid trajectories along the route. Course corrections might be required during the transit. Oh, man. So much going on right now. The bleeding won't stop. Just try to stay still. I, I need a second to think. We can fix this. Hey, kid, you hear me? <coughs> that hurt my throat. Hey, stop. 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 Don't move. It's all right, Dasuki. Calm down. This line of work, you could never have become like miserable old Swansea. What a tragedy. Decades of hauling ass for Pony Express, but mighty bruiser with all his shiny tools. This is where it got me. The good life, huh? I thought you were dumber than a can of paint. Always just chewing my ear off about nothing. Unless Ray of God the useless Ray of God the Sunshine. Now an ace or not an ace student, career workhorse, or force of ambition. Just a damn good kid trying his best. You could have taught an old fool like me a lot. Close your eyes. Don't you dare. Why? You, you monster. I could have fixed him, Swansea. I have to do everything myself. Why can't any of you just give me some time to fudging think? How do you still not understand? It's over. End of the fudging line. You won't suffer one more second because of your delusions. Unbelievable. Stop pretending. I know all about your plan, Swansea. I went to utility. I saw what you've been hiding down there, sneaking around with that axe, telling Anya who knows what. Now this? You're making sure you're the one who gets inside the cryopod. Ha! I sure did talk to Anya, but it was her telling me all sorts of things instead, wasn't it? Shouldn't a captain go down with his ship? Not that it matters anymore. I ain't got no place to be. I got everything I could ever want right here on this ship. So go ahead and get in that pod. If you ever get found, you can tell them whatever fudging story you like. You've earned it. <sighs> get the gun. Wait, but where is the gun? He's not mocking us. What? I mean, it kind of sounds like he's for sure mocking us. Okay, cockpit is this? It's got to be in the cockpit, right? Got to be. Is 
Is it not? Is it not in the cockpit? It should be open. Yes. Okay, here we go. It was 739, right? Yep, got it. Perfect. Nice. What? Why are you laughing? I can't look at his blood anymore. Ah, oh, so that's that's where he crawled out. Why are you laughing? Oh, she's dead. I mean, everyone's dead, man. Why are you laughing? Not yet. Zero days before the crash. I told him, Anya, you, you should have waited for me. What did he say? Nothing that makes any difference. Did he seem angry? Where did he go? He just walked away. Curly. I don't want him in here anymore. Hold on. Fudge, just wait. I need to find them. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, she's not talking. What is that sound? What is happening? I need to go to the cockpit. What are you doing here? Jim, I can fix this. What do you think will happen when we get back? Hmm? We can figure all of this out, you and me. All I ever hear is how great of a leader you are. God, it's so annoying. But now? What do you think will happen now when we get back? We'll fix this together. We've already had this discussion. Everything you and I worked for in our lives, accomplishments, changes, none of it will matter. You've gotten through difficult situations before. This time won't be any different. Work through it one day at a time. It's not just me, is it? You were supposed to be the one who had everything under control. You said so yourself. The ship, this crew, everything that happened. This was your responsibility, Captain. This is what you'll be hearing the rest of your life. Or, this can all be remembered as a tragedy, despite what must have been the best efforts of its acclaimed captain. The Tulper crew was never found. No one survived to tell the tale. We finally get to see what we look like, and we are way younger than I thought we were going to. You're standing at the top, feet in cement. I get it now, right? Right. Ninety nine percent. I'll take care of it. Take care of what? System failure.
that's why we ended up like that because of Jimmy. Where are we going? Happy birthday, Captain. This rocks. Here, here. To Captain Jimbo. Come on. You have to give a speech. Go on. Have at it. You better make it good. Hell yeah. Our Captain. Captain Jimmy. That's why it was so hard for the knife to go through. A lot of people struggle to put food on their plates, but this wasn't enough. Right, Captain? The lowest rung of your ladder is our highest until it was all swept from under your feet. Life isn't even worth living at the same level as us. But I forgive you. All of us do. I won't give you, I won't give up on you. Even like this, I believe in you. We're going to make it through this. Sometimes we thrive, travel the endless reaches of space. But other times, we just have to accept days like these. You taught me that, Curly. Let's eat. Let's survive. Take responsibility. I want to dive into all of this. What? What? Is that Campbell soup? What in the world? No turning back now. Wait. What are we? Do I go like this? What do we do? Oh, I gotta go through the whole thing backwards? Got it. What in the world? Is that a Game Boy? Responsibility. Oh, this is so trippy. What is happening? Yo, this... 
my mind is do I, can I still keep going backwards or no? We go forward now. <laughs> what is happening? Please don't have a jump scare right here. That's all that I'm asking. Not in the vents, please. Not in the vents. Not in the vents. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower. It's just a flower. That's all that it is. What the hell? Don't. I didn't shoot him. I didn't shoot him. Ah. Uh. Why can I hear other footsteps? Oh, I see you. One more time. Mm, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I saw you again. Did I get him? Nice. I have something to say. That was very close, by the way. So shut the F up and listen. I spent 13 years half cut up to my eyeballs. Drunk, to put it mildly. Then suddenly I saw it. 
a strengthening, a, a street light shining in my face. 500 gigawatts of the power of God. A vision of my bloated body found in some ditch. Scared me straight. So I got a collared shirt, mortgage, and a credit card. All the things that make a good man. I hoped I could raise my children to be better than their old man. I wanted to believe I was never one setback away from my worst self. But the truth is, discipline. Drive, routine, the endless fudging desperation to get shit done. A loving wife, great kids, sobriety. I'm telling you, you. Accomplishments I'd been chasing all my life never felt as good as I expected when I crossed the finish line. That is, this game is hitting hard because that is totally true. So now that we're at the end, take an inventory. Those nights spinning out of my head, sinking into the sofa, broken glass in my palms, bleeding dry, the funniest things ever. Old dogs laughing and snarling on a waterbed on a waterbed floor, mocking the moon for daring to show its face. All nausea and wreckage and vomit and ugly cruelty. The only problem in the world, an empty bottle. Those were the best days of my life. Yeah, those were the best days of my life. I got nothing to hide, ready to face the music. I can see myself for what I am, but you, a cowardly, selfish mother fudger, and you can't even see it. I should have been able to protect the kid. If I could have done one thing right, I wish it had been to give him one small chance off this goddamn rock. Swansea, I'm gonna fix everything. We're gonna make it. Fudge you. Take responsibility. What? What do you mean take responsibility? What do we... Take it where? Cockpit? I hate that it's dark. My god, this is just an endless loop. Oh my god! That is terrifying. That is so creepy. Dude, why is this so freaky, man? Why is this so creepy? It's just more and more eyeballs. I don't like this at all. Can I go this way? No. Oh, no. I mean, there's nothing for us to do. What do you want us to do here? Just keep going in circles? Where? What? Where are we? What? What in the world? What is all of that over there? I need this to align. I mean, I, I literally, and I'm going to turn that back that way. I, I don't know. Um, oh, wait, there's, I didn't even realize there was a TV here. Tis 
old Mother Goose's birthday. We're giving her a party. A party, a party, a party for Mother Goose. A party for Mother Goose? The baker man, he served the cake. It was a sight to see. Wait, what? Th this is so weird. I don't understand what I'm playing. <laughs> this is so bizarre. <laughs> what does any of this mean? This is such a weird game. I'm gonna turn the channel. Is he supposed to be eating the leg? I need to get closer. What? What is that? I don't know what I just did. Wait, what? Now what do I have to do? Help me. Just walking along. Just walking along. This is not a game I expected to play at like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm having like a, I'm having an existential crisis over here. I want to go home. We are home. Why don't you finish what you started? Don't worry. If anyone ever finds us, I'll still be playing the villain. You'll be the better man in the end, like you wanted. I could have stopped it. I'm taking responsibility. No. We can both be heroes. We're a team. Just you and me, like we used to be. What happened was an accident. We were trapped. I made a mistake, alright? I'm sorry. I'm so fudging sorry, Curly. Take responsibility. What in the world is that? Wait, what? What? We're supposed to be looking for something? What? What do we what do we do with that?
all clean. Really gets rid of that bad taste in your mouth, huh? Through wreckage, through silence, wash it away. All day, fire fresh. I hope this hurts. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. That sudden jump. Where the hell do we go? I'm going off of gamer instincts right now. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. What? hell is happening <laughs> are these all oh these are the are we like having a mental breakdown because of the incident Pony Express is dead, and so are you. <laughs> Sorry? Shut up. Curly tried his best. I did too, but he's the better man. I see that now. We can both still make it. I'll take care of him. I'm taking responsibility. Curly. Captain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 I do. I fudged up. But I can still make this right. Our worst moments don't make us. Zero hours. What the hell do we do with him? What do we do? Curly. Go home. Staring at him makes me very uneasy.
Utility. Are we supposed to be turning around? Like, going forward, just... I'm so confused where we're supposed to be going. Not yet, it says, for the gun. Where do you want us to go? Do we just keep going in a line? In a straight line. I mean... Like I should be doing something right now. Okay, here we go. We're going to save him. It's okay, Curly. You're going to be okay. You always had my back. I ended up hurting you, even though I was trying to save us. But now, you'll survive. It's like you said, together we can fix anything. I'm just proud I got to be your friend and co-pilot, Captain. No one can hurt you now. We fixed it. I fixed it. So, so what is he going to do? This game was absolutely, completely bananas. So this whole time, you find out from the past that Jimmy was actually the one that went through and crashed the ship because he just couldn't take the things that he has done in the past. He couldn't take getting Anya pregnant and not consensually, by the way, and the layoffs. So he attempted to crash the ship and Curly tried to go in there and save everyone. But then in the end, Curly, not Curly, Jimmy kind of redeemed himself, redeemed himself by offing himself and saving, well, potentially saving Curly. This whole game was a complete mind twist. This was the entire game. I was curious, like, what is happening? And then as soon as you get to the end, everything just clicks and makes sense. As bad as this is to say, as soon as Jimmy off him, offs himself, the rest of the game just, again, like, it all just made sense at one time once the credits started to roll. It's, it's dude, that was such a brilliant game. And I was not expecting that from this. This is not, a, I mean, it is like almost two o'clock in the morning now. So my mind is going, I'm, I'm tired, I'm drowsy. I'm trying to figure all this out, but it's like Jimmy throughout the entire process of this game was just, he was a shitty coworker. He was a shitty co-captain. He's the reason he tried to kill, he tried to off himself because again, he felt guilty for Anya, the layoff, 
So in that process, he like pretty much murdered everybody else in the ship because of that. And he was really the only one that wasn't sane. Because. I mean, it, so the intern was killed because he was just trying to end his suffering. Anya was trying to do the same thing to Curly. She was trying to end his suffering due to what Jimmy caused by trying to commit suicide and crash the ship. There's, dude, my mind is blown right now. This was such a weird and brutal game to play through, but the little subtle messaging, the, the, the subtle messagings that it gave throughout, especially the conversations between Curly and Jimmy, I was like, that. That's how I feel right now with my job. You know, it's like, am I going to go the rest of my life following this path and then get to the end of my get to the end of my life and be like, why did I go through this path? I wish I would have taken more chances. I wish I would have done something else. I wish I would have tried new things like dude, this game just made you think about the little things in life. I'm going to like I'm going to be in my bed thinking about this for an hour. I'm not going to be able to go to bed. This was really, really good, and I understand now why this game has received overwhelmingly positive reviews. And I understand like just why this game has been kind of a hit on YouTube. There was a lot of people and a lot of playthroughs playing it, which is why I ended up playing this because I saw so many people play it. And it is only like two months old, so I and I also was looking through the 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 fall sales on Steam. So this game already stuck out to me because of seeing other people play it. And then I saw the reviews. I saw the trailer. I read the description. All of it just kind of fit really well together. And now we are here. We are at the end. Um, so I do really quickly. I want to quit and just OK, so let's, it just quits. It, it quits the game. OK, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this series. If it wasn't for YouTube, this is probably not something that I would have chose to play. I really don't think that it is because I was looking for something to play with all of you. Um, I noticed that <coughs> I've been talking so much. My throat's dry. I was looking for something that I could just do in one sitting because I do have a couple of other games to, to play at the moment. But man, this was just a really thought provoking game. And again, I just appreciate all of you guys so much for being here. Um, that's it. We've completed another game. That was mouthwashing. That that I think that game was probably a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not kidding. And that's one of the only 10 out of 10 games that I've played this year. I, I I'm, I'm kind of speechless, to be honest. That was so good. Like, it, it's so good. It was so good that I, I, I can't even like comprehend my thoughts right now. There's so much going on in my brain again. I will not be going to bed tonight because of this, because of all of the thoughts and all of the, the feelings that I have at this very moment. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are also going to be staying up late and <laughs> you can suffer with me with this exact predicament. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Peace out. Wow, that was so good.